Hi, this is Dr. Pat. We're looking at uh, quadratic functions and what I want to do is a business example of how we could use quadratic functions and what it's going to start from is the demand curve, this straight line here. And so what we're going to be doing is when we start with a straight line demand curve, when we start talking about revenue, revenue is going to be a quadratic function and I'll show you that in an example but there's a couple of pieces that uh, if uh, formulas that we need to have in order to do these uh, problem I'm going to present is the first one is the vertex formula that's the one up here on the upper right the negative b over 2a that's what we use to find the highest lowest point on a parabola of a quadratic function and then also we have the quadratic formula remember that uh, this formula is used when the equation is equal to zero so when when we're looking for a formula when it's equal to zero that's when we use quadratic formula vertex formula is when we use it we use this to find the highest and lowest points okay so with that we're ready to go all right so we've got the demand formula for the Benford Z 900 and so what we're looking here is a nice little straight line linear demand function because this is uh, an equation of a line uh, power one here that's an understood power one for the P and so what we're looking at here is we want to find the price that optimizes revenue so our goal is to find P equals that's eventually what we'll get to but the one of the keywords I'm looking at is optimizes now when we we talk about optimizes that just basically is an official formal name for largest smallest biggest you know those kind of things and so optimize get the largest or smallest and how do you know if it's the largest or smallest it all depends on the context because we're playing with revenue and in any business we want the largest revenue possible who wants the smallest that doesn't make sense so when it says optimize revenue that's code for find the largest revenue that's what we're looking for okay so now to find the revenue we're gonna use a formula and just remember that the formula for revenue is price times quantity so we're gonna combine these two formulas that we have the demand function that we've been given and the revenue formula that I have in, you know in the back of my mind kind of thing and so when we put those two together what we want to do is get rid of one of the variables so when we have revenue price times quantity what I'd like to do is get rid of either the Q or P now since this question was asking what is the price that gives us the maximum revenue what I want to do then is get rid of the Q well that's easy to do because we got a nice formula in our demand for Q equals which means wherever I see a Q in another formula we can put 220 minus 4p and that's what I do so I replace this Q with the 220 minus 4p and then we just multiply this through bring that p all the way through and so 220p minus 4p squared is our formula for the revenue based upon this demand function that we've been given and then the next uh, stage is we want to find uh, the optimization of it we're going to use uh, the vertex formula because we want to find the largest revenue so that means we're going to use this now before we've seen this uh, vertex formula x equals that just means the independent variable the input variable and so in this case we have a formula for revenue based upon price and so instead of x equals negative b over 2a it's p equals now the pieces that we need is we need the b and the a and so the b number that's the number that's with the coefficient with the power one that's with the p and the a uh, number the uh, coefficient that's always the one with the power two so a goes with the power two the coefficient with the power two two term and then B is the coefficient with uh, with the single term there with, with just the P and then C when you do quadratic formula that's the one without the variable okay so now that we've got our A and B we just plug them into the vertex formula we crunch this out calculate it out and we get 27.5 and so that's an example for optimizing revenue when given a demand function thanks and have a good day